Hi, Julia. This is uh, Krishna Guram. I'm representing the Product Working Group. And uh, thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview and sure. to take a few questions and provide our community with uh, your perspective as the PTL for telemetry. So tell us a bit about yourself to start. Yeah, so my name is Julian. Uh, I'm the PTL for uh, Cinemeter for the next six months. Um, and I've been a PTL before uh, for Cinemeter a long time ago, like a couple of years. Uh, I worked on Apple Tank for five years now, uh, four years on telemetry. Uh, I work at Red Hat for a couple of years now. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Okay, lots of experience. So tell us a little bit about, yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, the telemetry project itself. I can see it has had a lot of changes in the past one year or so. Yeah, yeah, it, it moved a lot. Like, so uh, when we started four years ago, we were a uh, single project minded, like it was Cinometer that everybody knows in, in NobleSec right now. Uh, but since then we kind of rebranded ourselves to telemetry because we cover not necessarily a larger uh, spectrum of things, but we do we see things in a different way now. So we have three projects. Uh, we have Cinometer that everybody knows, which is um, responsible for gathering data from the cloud, from OpenStack and everything that runs and use OpenStack. Uh, we also started um, another project uh, a couple of years ago, which is called Gnocchi, which uh, is a replacement for the, for the, for the, stor the storage Right. pretty poor in terms of performance. Everybody knows that. I mean, it, we've been acknowledging that for a couple of years and you know, Gnocchi, which is a better solution to store all the data that Cinemeter gathers and generates. So that's our second project. And another project, which is a bit older, is A, that spells A-O-D-H, uh, but it pronounces A. It's uh, a Gaelic word, which means fire. And uh, it's the Cinemeter alarm code that we split off uh, of Cinometer uh, last year. It's the same code, code base, we just uh, moved the functionality out of Cinometer to build something which is more modular and installable in small parts. So it's easier for to, to deploy Cinometer and different components uh, depending on what they need. Okay, excellent. I think that summarizes the telemetry project. So tell us a little bit of what were the hot topics in Austin? Yeah, so uh, we did discuss a bit about uh, things we want to do in the next cycle in, um, in telemetry. The third thing we'd like to, to add is the benchmarks. Uh, we want to work a bit on profiling, improving our performances in uh, Cinometer and other projects like uh, A and Yoki. Uh, so there's a working group at the OSIC uh, OpenStack Commission Center uh, working on benchmarks for Cinometer and probably Yoki and A2. So we did discuss a bit with uh, the guys uh, on the that on the OSIC. Uh, we'll plan to work with them in the next cycle, uh, fingers crossed, uh, to have numbers, uh, interesting things, feedback, uh, profiling data so we can improve our stack uh, in this cycle or during the next cycle. We'll see. It depends on when the results are going to come back. Um, a thing we want to, I think, improve a lot is documentation. We're not the worst. Uh, project in OpenStack right now, but we know that people struggle with a lot of things in uh, Cinemeter and A. Uh, we have a terrific documentation for Nuki, like everything is documented. We have a policy which is uh, no documentation, no patch merge. So developers have to write the documentation with the patch uh, to have their features implemented in Nuki, which is awesome because everything is documented. Like there might be a few exceptions and all that, but uh, we want to do the same thing for Cinemeter and A right now, so it's going to be one of our topics uh, during this next cycle. Uh, the doc team uh, from the OpenStack Manuals realized that we're not able to cover the 54 or 55 projects of OpenStack. It's amazing the number of projects we have in OpenStack right now. It doesn't scale, I mean, so, so we're bringing back our documentation from uh, the Manuals team, the documentation team to our side, and applying a policy which makes sure that we do continue to have a good doc and a better presentation. Right the next uh, cycle. Excellent. Yeah, I think you summarized that well. A lot of testing, a lot of uh, documentation and so on. What were some of yeah. the user needs that you're trying to uh, solve? User needs or problems that you're trying to solve? 
well, I already talked about documentation, so that's one. Uh, we don't have any like feature requests. We used to have a lot of in the last cycles, precise feature people wanted to see, but I think it's slowing down a little bit. We do have a lot of features already. So uh, probably more stabilization. There's also um, a need of uh, being able to deploy more easily, like uh, something in OpenStack in general, which is a bit problematic that it doesn't work by default. Uh, we did a lot of efforts and experiments, I would say, on Yoki on that, so that you can just install it and it works by default. Like, there's nothing to configure by default in Yoki, it just works. Uh, we're trying to do that with our Cinometer and A to, uh, to have more sane default, but you can tweak our software uh, to your needs, obviously, but it just works by default. You don't have to read the whole documentation and, and the whole config file, things like that. Right. Just, it, it's more too complicated to deploy. So we're trying to improve that a lot. Uh, First in telemetry, maybe we will bring some new ideas on the table for other projects too. Uh, we like to do that, so we'll try that. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Now you did mention there are not many features, uh, but still, what are some of the top two or three features uh, you, you think will be worked on for Newton, for the Newton uh, release cycle? Um, for uh, On the cinometer side itself, uh, I don't think, I think we have enough uh, coverage uh, of posters or data gathering in general, we have enough things covering other. Uh, one of the feature we want to finish because we did start it uh, during the last cycle is the polling improvements we talked about. So we did a few improvements on the polling side, uh, redefining all the pipeline stuff are defined, et cetera. And things have been started, but not finished lack of time as usual. Uh, we'd like to finish that. Uh, Mm -hmm. during this cycle. That's a big thing for our first cinemeter. I think for AM, my main concern right now is to bring a documentation very up to date because when we started A a year ago, we just take the documentation that was in cinemeter and was about the aligning code and it was like very few documentation. So it, it's badly documented and it's one of the projects that we designed like Nuki to be able to work standalone, like without the rest of OpenStack. So yeah, there are people right now using Nuki uh, and deploying it without OpenStack just as a time series database. And being able to deploy A, the alarming part, with Nuki itself, without the rest of OpenStack is one of the goals we want to achieve too. So that, that goes through having good documentation because, well, if you don't have any documentation, nobody's going to be able to install it and to right. deploy it. Right. So that's one of the, there's no like big new feature in A. We want to stabilize the software a bit. Uh, we've done that in the last cycle. That's probably a few things we want to improve too on that. The event part of A uh, needs some work. We have uh, at least one or two developers working on that too. Uh, there's, there's not something new, but it's just stabilization, new, some, you know, small features here, this and that, and things like that. And for Nuki, we don't have big features. Uh, a few people requested an open bug on Launchpad to request featuring the API doing more computation of the metrics on the server side. So that's good ideas, totally acceptable, things we are going to, to implement in the next week, I think. Yeah, there is one uh, question though I wanted to ask you, it shows up on the product working groups roadmap for some, some improvements in telemetry and particularly in the area of uh, NOVA polling reduction. Mm -hmm. So is there some work planned in this Newton cycle for that? So there's ideas, but there's no plan. Uh, the big problem here is that uh, we do our best on the similar side to pull Nova, but we do have to pull Nova with the API it provides. And the API it provides it are not very good uh, for what we need and what the people want to uh, gather as data. So uh, to do that, we need to change Nova, which is very complicated and takes time. So that's not really, uh, I think there's work on our side to propose something to Nova that we didn't do so far because we are a bit reluctant to, well, to go to Nova because it's not our project, it's different. But uh, I think at some point we're going to need to, well, say but this is what we need as data. This is all we pull it right now. It's not very efficient. It's slow. It requests a lot of data in different way from Nova. There's a lot of requests. Uh, we did it provide the last cycle by having caching, which helps, but it's not a correct solution. It's like, you know, it's, it's peppering over the problem. So, so we need to solve that uh, at some point. Solving it is going to be done uh, in Nova partially, so we need to work with them. It's complicated, it takes time. Uh, we'd like to, to, to do that. Uh, we need people to help us also on that. 
Okay. So yeah, you talked a lot about the testing and documentation. So what would you say are your key themes for Newton? Um, uh, I think one of the key uh, thing right now is going, uh, um, is going to split uh, serial meter to continue what we started last year. So we started um, by splitting the alarming uh, modules okay. in A. Uh, so this cycle, we're going to start a new project. It's named Panko, uh, P-A-N-K-O. Oh. Uh, we're, yeah, we're splitting the uh, event parts of the API of Cinometer in its own project. So it's going to the same code base, same test, same documentation. We're not going to change anything. We're just moving the code in a new repository. So there's a lot of people using Cinometer, but not using at all this events part because it's, it has been started a couple of years ago. It's not really finished. It's usable, you can store events, but the API is quite simple. There's, I mean, we, don't, we know there's not a lot of people deploying it. So there's no need to having people deploying an event database each time they want to deploy Cinometer. So we're moving that the same way we did with A in a new repository. We're going to keep the code in Cinometer for one cycle. So it lets, it lets uh, some time to people to move on and to say, well, I want to use Panko because I'm using the events of Cinometer, so I'm going to install it. But if you don't, well, you don't care. It's just less code, less things to maintain, so it's good. We're really trying to not every cycle because it takes time and it's it also has impacts downstream and on deployment. So we want to be nice. With, it, takes, it takes time anyway to, to do that. But um, we want to be nice to people consuming kilometers. So if we do that like once a year is good. It's it's a good speed to do these kind of moves and it improves a lot uh, our ability to as developers to maintain the code. Like we have different team right now for Ryan kilometer because. There are people very interested in uh, maintaining the uh, polling side of Cinometer, and there are people that know a lot how to do Everett alarms. It's different things, it's different projects, and right. so we have module like that you can install that works very well together, very easy to install together, but if you don't use them, you don't use them, you just don't use them. They work also standalone, that's right. one of our points. Right. It's, it's, composability is one of our key, te key team, I think, uh, in this cycle again, and the ability to, yeah, to be able to install all this very simply with good documentation, things right. like that. Right, right. So it's simplicity and also, like you mentioned, modularity. So you have, yeah. just like we did the A module for the alarming, you could, you know, have a separate Banco module for the event, events yeah. coming out of the accelerometer. So that's great. That's a very good summary there. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to add? I mean, you've covered a lot in a very short time. So yeah, thank you yeah. for that. <laughs> uh, we're yeah. a very small team. So I mean, yeah. if you're interested in, in helping us in telemetry, we'd be very happy to have you joining us. You can join us on IRC on the mailing list. We use a lot of the mailing list to, to discuss our different problems. Sure. I mean, we have new, new contributors every cycle. We're very, very happy to, to have them joining us and helping us. It's a very interesting and broad topic. So feel free to join. Absolutely. I'm sure a lot of people will be quite uh, quite encouraged to join the team now that it's been so much of activity in so many areas. So thank you for your time, Julian, and uh, wishing you all the best with the Silometer release thank with the Newton cycle and for those cycles beyond and looking forward to meeting you in Barcelona. Yeah, sure. Okay.